in two days in a row. <laughs> but that, anyway, I think it could be the last one. So, uh, my talk will be uh, about how we a check-in for the for Korea. So, yes, yeah, we think we think the two frame can work hard. So, uh, a bit of myself to come to you, but already know what I mean. Yes, so I have a type of, I'm also really involved with the multi grand local. I'm also in the organizing events, I'm also there, and also a member and also part of the multi local council. I'm attending a lot of other local communities like to. I'm also involved with the organizing whole bunch of events. I think I have done uh, three events in the before this month. And I think I have had some great separate events. So I was an author of the in Indonesia, in Korea, and also a uh, minister in Belgium.com in the So I was uh, doing that thing. From the work, um, and also the uh, subject, yeah, I write very good applications. I make more information that we talk about the company in the first place. So, um, yeah, so a few things before the presentation. Uh, this is just mm -hmm. I, I think it's not, it's not, it's not really like the best part of this. It's also the subject of the organization. So, yeah, of course. It's more like just sharing my experience around the frame of the whole, so you can think of the story of the organization. So, um, at the... Yes. Sorry? You want to help? You want to help? It's okay. Uh, I, I need to provide a password also. Uh, it's okay, no? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, uh, Do you want to the mic? Do you want to the mic? Yeah. 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 So, um, my first experience with the organizing classification was uh, uh, in Indonesia back in 2022, which was happening in Hong Kong, North Korea. And I was actually the really first time to organize the classifications, and we don't have much uh, free time for them to have to check in for the events. So, like, um, like, we had to look at the thing that two members to two bigger issues, and the check-in process was actually the man checking their names at the least and have people to write their name on the name tag. Um, well, it actually works, but um, it also uh, sometimes you got some um, busy names that can check in as well. And like, we, we saw some, some already on the menu and they're done. Mark has checked in. <laughs> like, they, they kind of stuff happening. Like, and we were able to check the numbers of the exact number the two actual participating events. And yeah, so that was the main reason for being here. Um, yeah, and also just from an auto going on. And why is this great and support for reading my books? Um, okay, um, before the information in 2022, I did to the book study. I remember there were uh, many sessions for the about the and also for the Osha, uh, and the Osha for the Good to Play. So I also, um, after participating in Osha, I was interested to uh, see some music for the Good to Play. And I think there were some music sessions, but uh, I'm not able to see um, many music cases. So I also want to uh, do some of my own uh, project and for the first use cases for the people. So they go for uh, all my reasons to use the brain for any of my projects. Um, by the way, uh, let me uh, 
Do we have anyone from our team to go and do the break already? Go to one point four. Ah, okay. What what was the frame? Okay. Okay. So uh, I think there are some people already know one and other main people are not uh, yet. So uh, to give it some sort of quick sort of sort of introduction for those and look for it. Also uh, a variant of the Ubuntu and I mean, I think the most difference between Ubuntu and Ubuntu sports is that Ubuntu is also the for the meeting uh, some uh, IoT products or something that uh, has shopping team. So, and the other, the other difference the one of the biggest difference would be between the free install of the Ubuntu sport and uh, their, and everything, everything uh, basically depends on that, even the, not just the story of the packages, but also for as a piece of this, they also manage the steps. That's the most important thing. And uh, the Ubuntu frame is basically um, it's a full screen display server. So it's like a full screen shell for uh, like running your um, full screen applications. So it's basically a shell that is compatible with the uh, Wayland and it's all with the support in the uh, server. So uh, this is basically how the Ubuntu framework works and Ubuntu support in them. So um, both, both the graphical, both the graphic apps we want to work on the Ubuntu frame and the Ubuntu frame also uh, basically a that package. So we can install that and work from the Ubuntu board system and they can uh, allow to, uh, we can allow to interface with each other with the, uh, using the uh, set interfaces and block. And and yeah, we need to can, um, we can connect the uh, interface with the block for the gradient, the gradient for the block, the frame, and the, uh, the application that we use. So it could be things like that. It could be that after we put in the code. Yeah. Uh, the first thing we do, uh, we run is that the frame, then if we run the, our application, then now the application is ready. Is that different? Um, so my my project, my project plan for my project was, um, of course, between four and uh, three to get my projects, and uh, also it is my work plan for two fourths because there are other things to bring other documents and others. People already have something for that. And yeah, for the practical app, I want to use this uh, filter in Aerobot. In Aerobot, it's uh, basically a filter uh, thinking package, a to style package. And yes, I also have um, a cheap data printer, and uh, I also want to use the little type too at the time, but I just got the little type for that. I hope to try um, it to go on for that. And yeah, but we can actually go to this, but actually also like when you get it back. I bought the other two navigator from the United States, and they're saying that uh, if I want to do this, I want to try it. And I also so I bought it. And it seems to be working with Windows, uh, at least for the data. And they should be not working with my single computer, like a system file, and what we file, because it has a driver for the XAPs, uh, which is so you can connect us, and it doesn't have any driver for other, other projects at the time. Like up to four, there's no driver for that. And yeah, and my my SPC, they are running up chips and with chips, and they are making one of the drivers, so there was no problem. And so I, if you can, I just I just managed to write my own uh, TCP command, which is uh, in printer S, and I used that instead with the ingress to communicate with printer. So I wrote that program and. Yeah, in the course of the map, it's actually, I figured out how to print something and 
the system is a lot of things, right? And yeah, we can also uh, do this on the connections. Because I think uh, also it can be a big talk to that example. So there's a duplicate connection, there's a simple uh, connection too that can uh, introduce that automatically in uh, the connections. And uh, what I used before, there was also a uh, uh, connection for basic uh, which was using the GPN to the side. So I will also mention this feature to divide the stack of the one with time. So my experience is it took pretty much a long time to do this because it needs to navigate to our version to say the interaction is not enough. It actually reduces the action, it actually has to find the option to get different things. Then, when this one time actually the same, it's just making um, some product, or when you want another CI yeah, provider, they will go to this inside way. For example, the other official questions here. And this also uh, much faster to do the network of the yeah, so this is just an example for thinking like that for the Rapid Pi or other ARM machines. This is the Focus CI. Um, the Focus AI is um, like they are actually providing uh, something like I'm currently using, I'm currently using uh, my set based on 425, which is required uh, to turn for the set to be the set. Some of the data they are providing only up to phase two or four. In that case, I uh, had to set some extra material set so that I can bring it to everything in the important manner. Yeah, so uh, that was the how uh, I uh, I write the application and it's the build that has to be. To create applications, uh, how is to how can we sell the package inside the interval? It's um, very special to set up all the interval. If we want to set up the interval for the web client, we can do um, for that. We can basically just copy the package from the local client, and we can use the open to also to create the client. Then that's how we can Then we can call our applications so that we can access uh, our uh, application. Actually, we can actually work in the We can also put a better process in the local package instead of the local package. Right? And, uh, if we if we need to set the bit for the set, it actually automatically connects the blocks of the set package so that uh, the application can access the two set facilities that they need. But uh, our package is only on the set for that. We have to uh, connect it manually to the different uh, The set connect actually uh, only application and the other package is that you and we are able to run that package. You see, the thing is, the frame is also once the keyboard is available, we can just uh, it just work safely. We just need to install the frame to the frame for the new frame of all the game package. And in five for that kind of And there are also some options for configuring some keyboard data and the team for the keyboard. And yeah, if you also just install this, it's a very good job for us. And when you can of the text fields, you can offer them all the time to get out of the settings. You can enter the text within the keyboard. 
and this is the actual actual footage on the using the actual device. This is the actual device running the two frame. Uh, in fact, you can see that it's running uh, yeah, only two to four of the text field, and uh, now it's going to the keyboard with the actual text. Right? And that was for some testing, and yeah, for, I think. Um, uh, so what, what is the problem with the something that which is using snaps, package snaps, then um like uh speed but what different means from uh working with the package that the three D or each snaps we also need to have some some interface that uh application needs to access and uh for me uh first I try out the package snaps. I wouldn't be able to um, know which which kind of uh, interface I need to add a separate piano, or kind of access I need to uh, send it to the application. And then I think that was the something uh, not difficult for me. And there are actually some uh, tips for you for the uh, figuring out what kind of uh, interfaces I need to add. So uh, there's uh, another uh, tool for standing block, and we can actually use that to uh, find out what kind of uh, the interface is missing and set package. So um, using, using this tool was uh, very simple. We just need to run the application first, then send another shell, we can run the standing block, and then choose uh, some, uh, some blocks from the Application and if there are any of course meeting from the application, then uh, that will bring up the kind of things that we need to add. So it's um, something that is uh, something that you need to do for this step, if you need to package this step. Yeah, and well, uh, just like when you go to the end. Well, uh, things are not already, um, already, um, already proposed on the back of plans. First step. I would like to make it a kind of spur. I actually find this um, issue. We did it for the conference, so I was able to receive uh, it. Instead, I just wrote it in separate buttons <laughs> and it actually worked. If we use the buttons, then we just can uh, get the keyboard input from the scanner, then we just need to put the text field in the application to the scanner. Then we do, so we were able to do uh, the process problem in the way. And the other problem was that uh, I was using the US blocking of this blocker when I was getting my data. I found that it's not actually working with the object file because the package is to actually uh, the, the library to issue their own. So it can actually work with the object So I also need to find some way to walk around. I think my workflow was just working from Python or Python 3 and I just, yeah, I just want to have a report for the Yeah, so this is how actually the video is actually used on the site for the Marco scanner, the Google Plunger, Spot Support. We don't see what they might have on the back of the Plunger. And then we have the private user. Yes. And yeah, I will I will actually be able to go the field to the events and people who are able to uh, check in with the field and enter the data. And yeah, but they both really be work well, I think, but there were also some issues. Why I was already uh, this setup on my own time. Um, one, one thing, one issue I got is that um, it's, it's, not, it's not really free for to set up the actual connections of the battery on the side because 
Thank <laughs> you. 